On this episode of Trying Something New, we arrive in Oslo and meet the famous Mother Teresa, explore the nightlife, eat dinner at 7-Eleven, swim with the whale sharks, and visit Simulan Island. We had to head to Bohol, so we decided to take the shortest route, which was a sketchy three-hour boat ride across the ocean. We're in the area, we're in the general vicinity, but our driver doesn't know where it is, so we're kind of asking people along the way if uh, anybody knows where it is. I think we found it. Yes, and then. Yeah, I think we have a room. Oh, Mother Teresa? Yeah. Is this it? You buy one? Is this Mother Teresa? I received one of these. Oh, good, 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 okay, perfect. While we were checking in the room, Ryder decided to be sneaky and hopped into the driver's seat and blasted the stereo. Found our hotel. Okay, we just arrived at Mother Teresa's here in Oslo. What do you think, next? Sunset. The turquoise walls. Sunset. Painted as a hue of the ocean. Um, um, guess what I'm Sunset. doing? Guess what I'm doing? Sleeping on the bench. But the best part of being in Mother Teresa's is the location. Right behind me is the whale shark expedition that leaves at 6 in the morning. So we have to get up at 5.30 and just walk next door. The first thing we did when we got there was sign the book for the tour so Mother Teresa can take care of the tickets. So in the morning, all we did was walk out of our room and be one of the first ones in the boat. I love whale sharks! off the bus in town and now I don't know what to do because <laughs> I have, it's just like I don't know. Okay. 7 Eleven. Chicken, chicken feet. You guys want some chicken feet? No, yeah. oh, why not? Have you ever tried it? Oh, you guys hungry? Especially fish. This is tuna. Wow. You guys want to try some Sky? Especially yeah. the vegetables. I think we're gonna live off of Lily's big shop. <laughs> oh, slop. When we told everybody we were coming to Oslo, they said, you know what, you just go there for the whale sharks, you get in, you get out, and you're done. We have two days here, and there's not even really much restaurant, so the kids should just build up in 7-Eleven, and me and Sandy are trying to find a place to eat. Daddy, there's hot dogs. I thought that 7-Eleven would be our saving. Desperation. Big pecker. What are you doing next? Oh, nice wiener. So we panicked and went into 7-Eleven I filled up on Snicker bars and Sandy bought 500 pesos worth of junk. <laughs> she ate four muffins. So I don't know if she's still hungry or not. We're in the Philippines. We're at Oslo. It's awesome. And we're really tired. And tomorrow we are going to see the whale sharks. And we're gonna go dive with them. Crazy. Let's go. And I'm gonna say something. Oh, mama. I just got this. Yeah, it's a sabu. After walking around for a few hours trying to find something vegetarian to eat, we decided 7 Eleven was the spot and to be at. Slam. Cheers. 7 <laughs> Eleven is the busiest place here. Who would have known? that 7-Eleven would be killing it in the Philippines. Cheers to it. Cheers. It's a beautiful rain day. Oh. Would you have thought 7-Eleven would be like the hot spot? It's like Walmart. Even the owner of our hotel is in there having a snack. So we met some girls at the pool. They're in here. We met the owner of the hotel. She's in here. 7-Eleven, what's that? Inside, outside, it's packed. As the sun set on Oslo, this little sleepy town woke up. The night market was booming. So how much is it? 25. Oh, 20. I thought you said 185. <laughs> okay, so it's 25. Five pesos each. Want some of that? How are you? Looks so good, huh? Sweet mangoes. Are you sure? After a long day of exploring, it was time to get a tricycle and head back to Mother Teresa's for our 5.30 a.m. wake up call to swim with the whale sharks. How are you feeling right now? She's scared. So we got about a 15 minute ride back to our hotel. 
Nice. In the middle of the night, it's pitch black. This guy thinks a monster's gonna get her. Well, that's what you told her. Yeah, that's what I told her. We made a video about whale sharks, but we didn't show you our before and after part to a journey to Oslo. I'll say it, you say it. <laughs> It'll be funny. All right. So if you've seen this part, I've seen this part. No need to comment. No need to comment. And tell us that you've seen this part. And tell us that you've seen this part. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Give me five. We now return you to regular programming. This is going to be a shorter version of our whale shark video. Here's the thumbnail, and there will be a link at the end of the video. If you want to see something really funny, definitely check out that video. <laughs> I'm getting nervous. Six in the morning, six in the morning. No, I'm getting We just woke up. You see all the boats right there, which means that's where they to are. The, to the whale sharks. Look at that sunrise, guys. Woo! Beautiful day. Oh my god. I got, I got really big butterflies right now. Right, how you feeling? Yeah. <laughs> How you feeling? You gotta do oh, guys, it must be right here. Oh my god. It's right there, guys. When I first jumped in the water, I could not believe my eyes. They were huge. So when you first get in the water, it's absolutely pandemonium. Everybody's in the water. Oh my god, the whale sharks are here. It was one of the coolest experiences I've ever had. To see the whale sharks in person, it was really cool. I was too scared to get in the water that day. I sat in the boat and spotted the whale sharks. When I first saw the whale shark, I thought it was going to eat me whole. When I turned around, he was right next to me, so I had to swim as fast as I could. I love the whale sharks. Out of our three months of traveling through Southeast Asia, this moment right now was one of the highlights. It's a little too close for comfort. <laughs> Holy sh! All right, so we just did it. It was unbelievable and scary as hell and beautiful. But they get really amazing experience. Oh, it was amazing! Thank you guys. Have fun, guys. So good. That was such a cool, unique, one of a kind experience. It's almost like you don't want to stand. You just kind of go to the yeah. shore and you just kind of stand there. You're like, I don't want to go home. Uh, <laughs> that was really amazing. Was cool. If you did chance and you're in the Philippines, check out the whale shots. <laughs> So about 30 minutes ago, we were sitting on the beach having breakfast and we said, hey, that island out there looks pretty cool. Let's go check that out. We asked our hotel lady, Mother Teresa, can we go to that island? And 30 minutes later, we're walking down some crazy cool back road. Some guy picked us up and he said, let's go to the island. So away we go. Bar. It looks amazing. I think it has the water we've been looking for, which is the turquoise. It's shallow for a while, so the water is just unbelievable. We're going to Samoan Island. All right, here we go. The boat has just arrived. All right, well, the weather is perfect. The sun came out. The clouds are almost gone. It feels a little windy. And this guy doesn't like it when it's windy. Neither do I. One of the funniest and most interesting parts of traveling like this is getting on and off of these boats. Does anyone know what he just said? If you do, comment down below. I hope he wasn't saying anything bad about us. Stay back, buddy. We made it, we made it. Sure, you have to walk through different boats or on skinny planks that seem to keep getting skinnier. Would you walk the plank? 
Skylar found a sign that said no drone flying, and she was very upset. When we first got to this island, we thought we'd be able to walk around and grab some lunch from the hotel. But soon enough, we found out it's a private hotel and all we can do is hang out on the sandbar. So we had to hit the high seas and search for some grub. All right, it's always an adventure uh, getting on these boats. about this uh, dismount here. Uh. Hope you're ready for another sequence of us getting on and off a boat. But each one is so different and exciting that we had to share it with you. Go Nace, go! <laughs> Good, so just focus, okay? And just like that, we are back on the shore. Oh my God, where the heck are Jimmy's clothes? I'm wearing my European swimsuit. You need to get a bigger swimsuit. <laughs> we headed back to our room at Mother Teresa's where we said our goodbyes to our new friends and got ready to embark on our next journey to Bohol. Thank you. Bye. How come you're not carrying a bag? Well, look at my stuff she's carrying. And just like that, we're off to the next location. We're headed to Bohol with way too much luggage and not enough time to get here. But that's how we roll. Ryder, you wanna walk? And here we go again on the infamous yellow bus. You going too? Yeah. <laughs> so, at all costs, I want to avoid taking the yellow bus. Drive way beyond my comfort zone. <laughs> gets a little tricky. We had to choose between two ways to get to Panglao Island. The longer safe way would have taken about half a day to get there. The shorter way was about a three hour boat ride, but I read a bunch of reviews and it sounded kind of sketchy. We ended up choosing the shorter route. Leave a comment down below and let us know which way you would have taken. Okay, so we're finding out very quickly you need to talk to the right people to get you where you want to go. Gina, is that person for us? Because we were being hustled. And now we're here, and we're going to Penguin. Oh. Last night I was so confused, I didn't know how we were gonna get here, and I love that it all worked out. And the most interesting thing is, I think, are we taking one of these little boats? I don't know. We gotta take a boat to a boat. This is gonna be a three hour journey for the next set, so hopefully, a three hours, uh, not on one of those, and three hours on a decent boat. But if it is one of those, it's what it is. All right, time to pay up. So, what you got? 3,100, 60 bucks to go on a three hour journey across the uh, ocean. Show me your new shirt you got today. <laughs> Very cute. All right, everybody ready? We got to go on a boat to get on a boat. Eight first. What? Okay, we got to right. Come on, we got to go. Okay, guys, walk down the stairs, please. Don't fall in the hole, guys. Make it right. So guys, is this a little hard? All right. Ah! Holy shit. Ah it's a party, baby. <laughs> what do you think? Sorry. We seriously thought we were going to tip over in 25 feet of water and watch all of our belongings sink to the bottom of the ocean. Well, it's a lot of luggage too, weighing down. Oh, we're here, guys. 
Alright, there's a toilet. That's good. This this holds still, it's fine. Everybody's okay. But these guys are badass and know what they're doing. So this guy, say something. What are you feeling right now? People start getting up. No, 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 just let them do their thing. Ben, do you need help? There's a body in there. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, go. So we made it on the boat. That was kind of sketchy. Everybody was like, Whoa! We almost flipped over a couple times. But we made it on. We're good. It's a smaller boat than I really wanted, but it, the sea looks pretty good today. So. Ryder must have had a few too many red horse last night, and now he's yakking over the side of the boat. A lot of people. Three hours. Three hours. Hope we can make it. <laughs> It is absolutely impressive to watch how these guys get the luggage on and off the boats. Oh my god, what do you have on you? <laughs> you do that a lot? Yeah, right? We read a lot of reviews online that said uh, that boat ride was absolutely treacherous, horrible, and a bad experience. And I have to say, it's not true because we had a wonderful experience. And uh, we're almost land. Land ho! Yeah, yeah, they get swimming. There you go. Oh, Prince Ryder, huh? Right, you all up. We really, really, really planned this trip with less luggage. But I don't feel like we're doing any less luggage. We don't have less luggage. And Ryder won't walk, so he's got everybody carrying him everywhere. We met these awesome guys on the boat, uh, coming here to, where are we? Penglo Island. They're from Estonia and they also have a blog and we have to check it out. But yeah, they have 3,000 gigs of footage traveling nine months in Southeast Asia. So, yeah, That's a lot of footage. That's a lot of footage. <laughs> Hi guys, nice to meet so you. So we expect to see Hi. a million videos from Yes, <laughs> all over. You can make so many videos. I had no idea what to do with you. No, no. You're looking I'll see really there. cool, but. <laughs> All right, we got transportation to the house, and I'm glad it's not a tricycle. It's this big thing. So it's 200 pesos, which is four bucks. One thing that we absolutely love about this type of travel is all the new different experiences we get to have as a family, and all of the new amazing people we get to meet, and the ability to see the world with our kids and expose them to so many new and exciting situations. It's funny because we say we're doing this for the kids, but I think me and Jimmy are really the ones that are getting the most out of this journey. We might be the biggest kids of all. Uh, nice to see you. Are we here? So what happened is, um, oh my God. We are always counting heads and counting bags. <laughs> we, got too, we got too many bags, but not too many heads. Oh, what do you think? Oh, wow. Nice. <laughs> Oh wow, look at that. AC, and then we could jump on the mattress. So I definitely think the uh, hostels are a cool option, but it's just not a good option when you got three kids. I understand the whole backpacker thing, you're in and out, you sleep there, but with kids... It's just not for us. So we splurged a little bit, we paid $55 a night for here, and I think house. it's probably worth it for us. Alright, let's go eat. Oh my god, Ryder locked us out. He closed, not, not locked us only, but he locked us. Locked us out of both spots. Guys, let us in. All right, no ice cream then. I guess you're not getting ice cream. Oh. So, you guys got jokes? Funny guys. Well, I guess you want ice cream, huh? Oh god, 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 oh god. Check out the next episode when we discover the famous Chocolate Hills, see the tiniest monkeys on earth, 
tempt our fate on an 80-year-old suspension bridge. How do you feel, guys? Check in. Are you scared? Yes. Yeah. Everybody's a little scared. We're bouncing a little bit. And just have a blast in Boho. Can't wait to see you on the next video. We love our family from Australia. If you guys like our videos, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram. And like us on Facebook. And whatever you do, make sure you get out there and... Try something new!